As the summer travel season begins, cybersecurity experts are sending out a new warning to folks headed to the airport. You might want to make sure that your phone is charged. That's because there's a new hacking method out there known as juice jacking. Hackers secretly modify the USB ports to install viruses on your device. CBS 47's Angelica Leilani shows us how using the charging stations in public places could put you at risk. IT experts say your phone can get hacked just by plugging your power cord into any public USB port. Cell phones, we all use them, from making calls to surfing the web. And when that battery life runs low while you're out or traveling, most head to the nearest public charging station with USB ports. It's convenient too, so a lot of people use it, I would imagine, especially myself. But doing that can put you at risk. IT security experts we spoke with say hackers are using a new method called juice jacking. And it's not just at airports, but at hotels, cafes, even theme parks. When you open up some of these technologies for public use, you also open them up to public misuse. Jay Colin Peterson, CEO of JIT Outsource in Fresno, says the method is similar to the ATM and gas station skimmer devices. He says now hackers are manipulating public USB ports where they can steal your data, text messages, emails, photos, and more. You get fooled into plugging in into, therefore, you open yourself up to the vulnerability that exists on that um, surreptitious device that the evildoer would place into effect. So how can you prevent this happening to you? Do just what Victor Diaz is doing, using the cube with your cord and plugging it right into the wall. I haven't had my uh, cube on me and my charger, so I just didn't really think much of it. I just kind of sat down, plugged it in. But now I'm glad to know that it's actually another way to secure my own information. IT security experts say it's a good idea to bring an extra battery pack or purchase a USB port defender. You can find those online. It doesn't have the data pins and only use for charging power. And it's important to note that there's been no reports of it happening here in the Valley or at our Fresno Yosemite International Airport. In Fresno, Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. It's really great advice because, yeah, if you leave here, sure. who knows where you're going to be, what you're going to be exposed to. And where, where your information is going to head it. Exactly. Yeah.